morning, wee friends, and welcome to our special time each Sunday. It is so awesome that we get to share our time together. <sighs> I'm going to take a deep breath and do one more. <sighs> I'm going to find my space, and I am going to find my prayer hands, and I would like for you to join me in our opening prayer by repeating after me. Dear God, help us to learn more about your ways from the Bible. Fill our hearts with your surprising love. Amen. Thank you so much, friends. Now, I'm sure you already know that today is Mother's Day. So I think this is a perfect time to talk about something really important in the Bible. And it is grace and love. I think there are so many ways that Jesus shows us what love means. But there's something special about love and sometimes they call it unconditional love. So we're going to take a listen to an explanation of what that means when we talk about our grace and our love. So let's sit back and watch this video to tell us all about it. This Sunday is the sixth Sunday of Easter, and this week's readings talk all about God's grace. But what is grace? Grace is the way God lovingly works in the world. He gives us all that we need to help find Him and grow closer to Him every day. God's love is not something we work for or earn. God's love is a gift to us that we can't earn. We call God's love unconditional because he loves us no matter what. And he doesn't just love the good guys. He loves all of us and he never gives up on us. He couldn't be any other way because God just is love. But that doesn't mean that we can do whatever we want, knowing that he loves us anyway. We have to choose to say yes to his gift. If we say no, God doesn't stop loving us, but we separate ourselves from Jesus by walking away from his gift. How do we say yes to God's gift of love? Jesus tells us how when he says, remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. We have to obey his commandment to love others. But what does that look like? You can hug people and say, I love you, but it's more than that. To love someone is to choose to do what is good for them. You could talk to someone who's alone because that will help him or her feel loved, and that is good. You could help your parents tidy up because that will help them and they will see that you care about them, and that is good. You could talk your friend out of doing something wrong because that's what's best for them. You could smile at those around you and spread joy because that is good. All of these are great ways of saying yes to the greatest gift anyone could ever dream of, the gift of God's perfect, everlasting, and unconditional love. So this week, let's do what Paul writes in the second reading. Let us love one another. Let's love others by doing good. Welcome back. You know, this made me think so much when I was watching this video. Um, do you know who else shows you unconditional love? Moms, right? No matter what, whether you might be in a crabby mood or having a whole bunch of fun or not feeling very well or feeling kind of sad or super excited and happy, do you know who is there for you no matter what? Mom. Do you know who also is there for you no matter what? God. So let's thank our mom because God gave us the most spectacular gift of grace and that is our moms. So let's make sure that we take the time out to let moms all over the world know how much they are appreciated and how much they are loved.
friends, this week we have a really fun activity for Mother's Day, and it is a paper fortune teller. Some of you guys have already maybe done these in school before, or you like to play your own games with them, but there are two different ways that you are going to have the uh, paper for. I had sent emails to parents that have the copy, um, and there are two ways. You have one that is in black and white, and if you wanna color it yourself and decorate it all up, make it special for mom, perfect. If you're like, I like the color one already, because you have this version too, then you can use either one to be able to cut and fold your way to make a Mother's Day fortune teller. Let's look at a tutorial on how to fold our fortune tellers. you have yours I'm going to show you how to play this game now you put your fingers in the bottom of your fortune teller and you'll notice that there are four words mom family love and happy you're going to ask mom to pick one of these words for example I'm going to pick mom so you go like this and you open one hand like up like this for M O M. It opens up to flowers and numbers. And then you say, okay, mom, pick a number, two, seven, three, or eight. And she'll say, two. So one, two. Then it opens up to another set of numbers. My numbers are one, two, three, and four. So then you say, mom, pick another number. And she'll say whatever she wants, but I, for my example, I'm gonna say three. One, two, three. And then at the very last one, you say, last number, pick a number. And um, for instance, I'm gonna open up the number seven in mine. And you open it up and it says here, think of a great memory with your mom and tell her about it. So inside of our fortune tellers are these really awesome ways to show mom your unconditional love. So I hope that you guys get the chance to make your fortune tellers and be able to play this game with mom because there are some really, really fun things in here. And I think it'd be an awesome way to show how much you love her by playing this game and opening him up and seeing all the things that we could do to show mom how much she is appreciated and loved. Friends, as we gather ourselves for our closing prayer today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of saying exactly what I say and repeating after me, we are going to point to parts of the body that are in our prayer. So for instance, at the end of one of the sentences in our prayer, it's going to say guide our feet. So what are you going to do? Point to your feet. 
or sometimes it might say eyes or mouths or ears or hearts. So I want you to listen to the prayer. And when you hear the part of the body that we're going to point to, get ready to point as you're listening. Okay, great. God of surprises, when you lead us to meet new people, guide our feet. When you ask us to help others, guide our hands. When you show us your creation, guide our eyes. When you ask us to tell others about you, guide our mouths. And when you send us preachers and teachers, guide our ears. With all our hearts we pray. Amen. Friends, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you get to show your unconditional love and God's grace with your mom and all of your loved ones. Please have a wonderful week and we will see you next week on our wee time. Bye friends.